Hi friends! Welcome back to Cha Cha Draws. So today I am doing a style study. Um, I have a number of artists, both classical and modern, um, sort of famous painterly types and also YouTubers that I love that I really admire certain things about their style and I really enjoy their art a lot. And as I've said before, I never went to art school or, you know, took art classes um, at the time in my life when it would have been appropriate for me to do so and when I had the time, alas. So I thought one of the things that I could do, which um, I believe is traditionally done in art school, is I could do style studies on these people because if there's something that I like about their style, then potentially I can practice it um, and see how I want to potentially incorporate it into my style and whether or not it works for me and that sort of thing. So today I'm doing a style study on the YouTuber Catwalk, um, whose name is actually Marie, I think, but I'm gonna forget to say that and just call her Catwalk the whole time. One of the things that I love about her style is her use of markers. She uses markers a lot. I mean, she also uses watercolor and colored pencils and pastels. She's a very versatile artist. And I mean, if you're watching my video, either probably you just know me and love me or you're already a part of the YouTube art community and you've probably seen her videos because they're great and fantastic. Um, but if you haven't, I will link her below. She's amazing. You should definitely go check her out. Anyway, she does some highly realistic um, animal portraits and stuff that I'm in awe of. And someday I will probably like to practice that and see if I could get better at drawing something more realistic. Um, but what I'm working on today is the way she handles sort of I guess what I'm going to refer to as her casual drawing style. The art that she draws sort of when she's having fun. She draws a lot of animals in this slightly cartoony style and she also draws a lot of fantasy characters. So, you know, young beautiful people with like, you know, antlers sticking out of their head or, um, or their little fairy spirits or their elves or whatever um and i really love how she does her marker work in those her blending is amazing her color choices are amazing um it doesn't hurt that she really likes combining purple and green which is also one of my favorite color combos so you know hats off there but Honestly, I really wanted to practice doing a better job with portraiture and um, blending and things like that. And I thought her work was a really great basis to do a study on. So since I was doing a catwalk style study, I wanted to choose subject matter that was something that she would draw. So I have my magical girl to practice my portraiture shading on. And then I just have her little cat companion because, I mean, you know, that's what cat would do. In addition to having just gorgeous facial shading and stuff, Marie's hair, the way she colors it, is a thing of beauty. It's amazing. Um, like I said, I watched her, I, I tried to figure out what it was about the coloring and the shading that worked so well. And I think the reality is that Marie uses brush markers like a trained artist. She actually uses the tip, not just for, um, you know, getting into fine corners and stuff, but actually uses it like a brush to feather things out and to blend things well. And that is something that I am just still trying to learn how to do. 
Um, so practicing it here was good, but I was never going to get the same kind of effect that she did because I just don't have that, I don't, I don't have that wrist flexibility yet. But I'm gonna practice it and I'm gonna work on it because that is just, I, I'm in awe of, of the beautiful feathering effect that she gets that makes her drawings have such gorgeous heads of hair. I don't have cats, so now a dog intermission. I ended up being really pleased with my magical girl. Um, and I guess I was overconfident when I went into coloring the cat. Either that, or I should understand that coloring animals with fur is um, quite a bit different than coloring humans with skin and hair. Um, it's probably that second one. Uh, also, I think I probably need to remember that when I'm doing something new, I need to give myself a break and not try two new things in one go. Just, just focus on the one. Uh, I'm not saying I dislike the cat. I, I think she ended up pretty cute, but I think um, she's definitely at a different, lower level than the magical girl was. I, I don't think I did as good a job coloring her. But maybe I'll stop trash talking my efforts and just um, just let you decide. The other thing that I really admire about Marie's work is her line work. Um, she tends, at least in her more recent videos that I've seen, she tends to use brush pens to do the line work. Um, and she, like I said about the brush markers, she's very skilled with them. She's excellent with line weight and things like that. Um, but she's also, I think it provides a, sort of a flow and an ease to the strokes and the lines that a fine liner doesn't give. Um, so I was really nervous when I went into lining this piece because I, except for during Inktober when I was gonna be filling in black anyway, um, I haven't done a lot of line work with a brush pen. Um, and even during Inktober, I didn't do it very much. I mostly did the line work with a fine liner and then I used the brush pen to fill in large areas. But I really wanted to get that smoother, um, less solid, less rigid effect. And so I, I went and I gave it a try. And I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. It's, it's not up to the same caliber of catwalk, obviously. Um, but I do feel like I learned something, which is that, first of all, I should try lining with brush pens more because I really, really like the effect. But also, um, it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. It's, it's you know, it's doable. Um, and with practice, I think I'll get better. You know, like most of us do with most of our art. Um, and then last but not least, Kat fills a lot of the empty space in her drawings with little botanical, um, you know, background items 
leaves, flowers, mushrooms. Oh, I should have drawn a mushroom. I do love the mushrooms. Um, but anyway, I wanted to keep everything in the color palette because I'd chosen this sort of teal, purple, and then orange skin tone um, palette. So I, I threw some leaves and flowers in there and uh, then it was done. I sincerely doubt she'll ever hear it, but I want to say a big thank you to Kat Lulk. Um, watching her do her work has been so educational for me, and it's one of the things that I love about the YouTube art community, that you can learn things by watching your favorite artist's work. Um, and I hope the rest of you enjoyed this drawing. I know I did. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I really feel like I learned some things. Now I just need to practice, practice, practice. Bye, everybody. If you like my art, or the art of any artist here on YouTube, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help. Thanks!